This presentation is an overview of the Regression Plus for Real Estate Professionals computer application. We have some data here that we're going to run regression on and to demonstrate some features let's let's make that a blank and let's make this text field. Now let's copy this information and go to our regression program and go to file new valuation and this is the importer we could go straight to an Excel file we could browse to it and get it and bring the date in but we've already got it on the clipboard okay then next now we're in the, the data scrubber this will not this application will not run with dates so we're gonna have to let it get the uh, day since sale so we need the sale date and we will use the date of the appraisal today's date. Uh, this would allow us to combine the full and half baths and it's a it's been programmed to handle the half baths and get it all into one number. Let's calculate the age of the property at the time of sale. I don't want to use the um, uh, let's see age. I don't want to use the year built so let's go to year built because uh, and the sale date and that will give us an age uh, using the year built will uh, make the intercept uh, larger and let's go down here to location and let's break this up into individual fields now let's also add two fields together which is the main square feet plus the upper square feet and that's going to give us the gross living area now this could be used if you have a lot of data hundreds of records you could mark if that if any of these columns are blank just don't bring them over uh, most of the time we won't need this because we're going to be using from 30 to 60 sales All right, now we're ready to pick the data we want to bring over the descriptive columns uh, I'm going to I have the uh, number of the uh, record uh, you would also normally have here the perhaps the street address and the street and the city or the listing number uh, now the dependent variable is going to be the sales price the main and upper we've already combined into the gross living area and uh, these are over here because I've used these before and it, it assumed I wanted them if I didn't want them I could bring them back over but I'm gonna bring the main over just to demonstrate something later but let's bring the rest of them over now and we're ready now to go to the regression now the first thing we have is we have some uh, we had changed this uh, we'd left some illegal text fields. We had a blank and we had a number. Now what the system does, it marks them in red so they're very easy to find in the data and it unchecks them so the regression can run. So let's, uh, in this one I don't remember what it was, we'll just leave it unchecked. Now in this one I know it was three so I'm gonna put three in and check it back and now it's a usable record. Okay, the next thing uh, that we want to look at is the uh, outlier. Let's say for example the realtor forgot and made this one a zero. The the realtor maybe the straight out of the MLS and the realtor left it a zero and it got all the way over here before you noticed it. Then you could use the remove outlier button and that will remove that outlier. If you don't want something uh, removed by the uh, outlier, remove outlier button, you can simply go to the exempt uh, if it's the house next door, really good sale, you may want to mark it so it so it doesn't go away. So now we are to the inner the uh, we are to the inner the subject data. So to do that, we'll go here and we're going to stop this uh, for part one so this so this uh, recording file doesn't get too large. and uh, we will do a part two and finish up this analysis.